Are you A-Town down, Corey? All day. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. All the potential in the world, but unfortunately, a bad attitude too. The youngest Money in the Bank winner and also the youngest superstar to fail cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Ah, oh, shut up, Saxton. Money in the Bank was an anchor, an albatross, and Austin Theory is better having gotten rid of it. Time will tell, but you may be right, Corey. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Looking out at the countless members of the WWE Universe in attendance, they are all here because of matches like this one. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle. Such a rising young athlete here in Austin Theory, one of the most naturally gifted stars in WWE today. He is big, he is strong, and he is vicious. So long as that inexperience doesn't trip him up, the sky is the limit for Austin Theory. Yeah, Theory's what you call a 5 2 a player. He may be inexperienced, but he's as hungry as it gets. We'll see if that's enough to get him the victory. And for Dolph, coming into this one, I think you need to strip away all the talk on social media, all the interviews. They're all just smoke screens. Trust me. Dolph's coming in with sinister thoughts. Yeah, Ziggler has always been a master of diversion, always using out-of-the-ring tactics to distract his opponents from the vicious in-ring wrestling threat that he is. To give the devil his due, I'll admit that Austin Theory is quite the impressive in-ring talent, especially for his age. But, Corey, I have to imagine that his relative lack of experience could potentially cause him some problems in the long run here. Now you've actually got a point, Cole. Theory's a standout talent for sure. But for as sure as himself, as he rightfully is, he still has some holes in his game. When it comes to in-ring IQ and that kind of ring awareness, Theory can be at a disadvantage. He takes control. Big forearm. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. There's a slingshot into the drop kick. He could pin his opponent right here. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. A drop kick from the middle rope. Nicely done. What a right hand. Pulling him in for the goal breaker. Right into the lower back. Well, the advantage is turned towards Theory. Theory is picking up steam. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. No, oh, no, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, Uh-oh. The dive! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Saw that one coming. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Oh, boy. He's stalking him. Watching for an opening. Nice drop kick. And Ziggler is falling behind here. Dolph's having trouble assessing the situation. 
He's got to know he's in harm's way here. From the top, double axe handle connects. He was waiting for him to make his move. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Crossing the legs. Brain buster on the knee. And Theory is showing us what he can do here. Theory getting ready. Oh, the ATL. Can Theory put it away here? Two. It's over. All in a nice work. That match is worth another look. Here we go. Here is your winner, Austin Theory! What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. Super kick by Theory. Feel the taxi up! Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. The living Lucha Libre legend is here. A man who has done it all in WWE. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Man. Rey Mysterio has never, ever been afraid of competition. He's never going to back down. He's the biggest little man in the history of WWE. The ultimate opportunist is here a man who has once again claimed his spot atop wwe a hall of famer who has survived judgment and embraced his darker side to become even more dangerous than ever before and his partner from toronto ontario canada weighing in at 249 pounds you know, Edge has won and cashed in the very first Money in the Bank contract. And he's found so many unique ways to win. He is truly the ultimate opportunist. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary. And at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. The sons of WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, Jimmy and Jay, one of the most exciting teams of this generation.
The Usos, Jimmy and Jay, ready to get this match going here. They've certainly made their mark on the WWE Tag Team Division. It's no surprise, Cole. Their family legacy is deeply rooted in tag team action. The Usos proudly command the same respect that their father achieved in the tag team division. And while they pay homage to their lineage, they've also made it clear they're doing things in their own way. There's no questioning that with their uniquely wild aerial offense and their hard-hitting strikes, Jimmy and Jay have certainly cemented a legacy of their own. And if you're a team that wants to learn how to work as one, this should be a match to study. This is a match to take notes on. As a team, you always have to be on the same page, but in this one, you can expect to see teams on the same sentence. Oh, team oh, super kick! On the mark. From the apron. Haymaker connects. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Tilt the world head scissors. From the apron, a forearm smash. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. position to be in right now. Uh-oh. No! He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Oh! You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Plunge out to the outside. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Super kick! Gentlemen, Rey Mysterio may be fading away here. There is no way this can go on for much longer. And gets tossed back into the mat. Elbow drop. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Placing them into the corner. Brought in the hard way. Popped up. Jimmy Uso with a Samoan drop. There's a tag, and I don't think this is going to be good for their opponent, Corey. Absolutely not. Up they go. Boom. He steers clear of contact. Big forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. And he gets set back into the ring. Climbing up to the top now. Enough already. A huge impact. Jay nailed all of it. Cover! Two! Somehow he kicked out. Moments like this just go to show you never can count Rey Mysterio out. And Jay threw everything he had at his opponent. You gotta wonder what else he's gotta do to put him away. Snap power slam! Corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Caught him right in the jaw. Tag is made. This could be the beginning of the end. Jimmy and Jay lining it up. Here it comes. One D. One and done. Mysterio couldn't avoid the big shot. Shoulders down. That'll do it. The victory tonight. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here are your winners. Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso. The Bloodline. And it's Jimmy Uso leading the team to victory here tonight. Gives you hope for the future of the tag division. Great tag team action on display, guys.
A brash high flyer who can do it all. Except shut up about it. The following contest is a no holds barred match. Making his way to the ring from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller has no respect for tradition and basically wants to dismantle the old guard of NXT. I fail to see the problem, Saxton. You better respect Waller because he's the future of NXT and WWE. Like him or hate him, Waller can do some amazing things in the ring, and I can't wait to see it. The Apex Predator is here. It's hard to believe it's been two decades on the hunt in WWE. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Oh, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams. But Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Always composed, always in control. No one is more calculated. Once legend killer, now possibly the greatest legend in WWE history. And there's only one rule in a no-holds-barred match. Pinfalls or submissions have to happen in the ring. Apart from that, this match is anything goes. I have to admit, I'm a sucker for the traditional pinfall submission rules, but in a no-holds-barred match, tradition flies right out the window. Oh, and a clothesline to follow. Ooh! And it seems like you have to be at least a little sadistic to be victorious in an ODQ match. Oh, come on, Cole. It's not about being sadistic. It's about being smart. There's no safety net in a no disqualification match, and that's a big factor in succeeding. There's nothing sadistic about it. On the apron! The hardest part of the ring. You are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And he's got the hardwood in hand, and you have to imagine a sinister plan for what comes next. Big forearm. Hooked up. DDT. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Bang! He's positioning himself, closing in. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Oh, what a counter. Basement drop kick. And he finds an answer for Waller. Oh! What impact! Right in the kisser. What's he open to find down there? He grabbed a ladder. This is either going to pay off or completely backfire. Oh, the ladder! Down across 
across the neck. He may be in a bad way here. That is the sort of bloodthirsty offense that Randy Orton does so well. And now thrown back into the ring. Ooh! He saw it coming. right at the last moment. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Orton now dictating the pace here. But Grayson can't let this flourish derail him. What a punch. Punch connects. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Up high! Oh, wait a second. Caught in midair! Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop, too? Oh, man! Drop kick! Horton going to that place could be academic from here. Get on the Will that close well around? Shoulder up before three. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. And this match is still not over. Orton is seething at that kick out. What a right hand in that. Wow, somersault on Grittier. He's burying elbows to the midsection. Delivering elbow after elbow. Classic Orton. Grayson a step at Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller with a rolling thunder stunner. Waller with a game ender. Makes the cover. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. There is no quit inside the heart of Randy Orton. How draining was that? Can it be done again? Can that maneuver be summoned at least one more time? We continue to see incredible perseverance from these competitors. The war continues to rage on with no superstar willing to give an inch. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve... What is going through their minds right now? Well, we're about to get an answer in a very painful way. Oh, no, not from up there. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, oh, no! That's RKO! Randy Orton, there it is. Makes a cover! What a decisive victory for Randy Orton. Incredible. Now here's a look at some of the clips that made that street fight so much fun, at least for us. certainly proved himself a superstar to watch with this one. Randy Orton's legend continues with a big win here tonight.
the Hall of Famer, Kurt Angle. The following contest is in a Introducing the challenger from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle! A wrestling machine, one of the all-time greats, Kurt Angle. Here comes L.A. Knight, the man who brings the excitement level to the max. And introducing the challenger from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Knight. Calls himself the megastar. Well, he won't be one of those in the fashion world, but L.A. Knight might be able to earn that moniker in the ring. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. Well, remember, Knight has two decades of experience. He's held top titles all throughout the world, so he is more than ready for the stage of WWE. And here he comes. And introducing the champion, representing the Brotherhood from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 224 pounds. He is the WWE United States Champion, Mark Magnum. The champ comes into his title defense incredibly confident, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. The champ facing perhaps his biggest challenge yet. Now, can he rise to meet the challenge? One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking, the United States Championship. The WWE United States title is on the line, a title with so much history. Well, the winner almost becomes the defender of the red, white, and blue. Well, that is, unless they choose to use the title to insult Americans, as somehow. Hey, it's the title holder's freedom to do so, Saxton. With the reversal! Pull back in, belly to belly suplex! It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So be creative. Into the snap suplex. Wow, he reversed angle. Oh, and a rear super kick. From behind now. 
nasty. Angle showing no concern for who he's in the ring with. It's a sign of confidence. Oh, what a close line. Put it in a position now. Right across the larynx. To the wall, DDT. Looks like LA Knight has no respect for his competition. Bang and screw. That'll tear you. Using the ropes as a launching pad. Ah, oh, straight to the floor. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. He's one step ahead there. Oh, what a kick! Look at this display of power! Overhead, belly to belly! was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. And now he rolls out looking for a timeout. You don't get any timeouts in a fight. That's just running away. DDT! And he goes for the pin. Narrowly avoids the pinfall. Close call. <laughs> Set crashing to the floor. with a suplex. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. And shoulders are down. No, he kicks out. Not yet. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Out of everything under the ring, we're pulling out shovels now? That just makes me sick. How's that for a counter? Oh, man. Oh. Slips out of the way there, but what reflexes? The champ now absorbing a little damage. Uh-oh. Punching their way out of that one. And he sends him into the corner. Stand much more of this. Angle needs to reformulate a game plan. Shoulder to the gut. No way. Into a power bomb. This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tensions really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Oh. Breaker. No clue what he hopes to find down there. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. And he saw that coming from Knight. Take down. Oh, the helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Slow and driver. That's gotta be it. Just yet. Look at this display of power. Overhead, belly to belly. Kurt Angle thinking big. He's got him in the crosshairs. To the sky. Missile drop kick. Oh man, what a boot. Take off. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Shutting that down with the back elbow. What a boot! You can see it in these superstars' faces. They're in serious pain at the moment. A lot of punishment has been dished out, but no one is thinking about quitting. Full control! The challenger is in some big trouble. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Good God! Picked out of midair into a power slam. Ooh! Oh, right in there. Ooh! Oh! Ooh. 
once more, setting it up. Oh, so athletic. The champ will stay champ. Makes the cover. He's still in this fight. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup, rethink your plan. Everything possible was done to win there, but it just fell short. And Angle now challenging his opponent to show him the three eyes. Kurt Angle picks the leg, looking to end this here. The ankle lock is in. The official asking him, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap back? And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Even a loss to the end of the table. He's setting this table up, and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. Gosh, what a match. Uh-oh. Nicely countered with a hard-hitting DDT. And this match will head back to the ring. The champ looking out of sorts. And we got a cover. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. This is what champions are made of. Always finding that deepest ounce of willpower. That final drop of fuel in the reserve. And that was an effective attack, guys. He just barely dodges. Kurt Angle fired up and practically goading his opponent into getting on his level. Doombuster! L.A. Knight ensuring his opponent takes a run on the gravy train. Two, three, no, two count. Title still on the line. This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. He's looking for yet another exclamation mark. Oh my goodness, a championship level move. And it's LA Knight. LA Knight. He's showing them what superiority really looks like. He gets back into the ring. Bodies have been decimated, fortitude has been tested, and these fans are showing their approval of these superstars' performances. Kendo stick to the skull. Big counter by Angle. Oh. Moved at the right time. Turning the tables there. Oh. And just check out the face of Angle after that. Kendo stick impact. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Taking flight. Diving leg drop. Mamma mia. For the win. There's two. Almost ended it there. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't either. Can this ref even count the three? He's going for it all. Well, look out. Oh, body on body. Looking for the victory. A defiant kick out after one. Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. Kurt Angle avoids that one. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Great reversal. Reversal on top of reversal. Set up in the corner of the ring. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned. The table! The table's being set on fire! Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Oh, look at this. Up to the top now. No! My God! There's got to be something wrong with you. Putting your opponent through a flaming table like that? I still can't believe what we saw. I still smell the burning. You gotta believe that some doubt is creeping into the champ's head. This just might be more than what the champ bargained for. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. What a DDT. Mm, good night. Cover! The challenger fending off the two count. Incredible to think. After everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. He's reeling, slowly getting up. 
complexion of this match. He got whipped into that corner. It turns around Angle's move. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. That'll hurt. DDT. I think we know what's coming next. He's trying again. Oh, my God! Wow, breathtaking. But champions need to finish the job. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. No doubt that was a match people will be telling their kids about for years to come. Here's another look. Here is your winner, and still, WWE United States Champion, Mark Magna. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. A win like this sends a message. Send two superstars, send three, send four, heck, send a whole army. It's only going to be an uphill battle for the competition. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship! Oh, we are about to see a fight courtesy of the Empress of Tomorrow. The pageantry before the punishment. Beware the beautiful fury behind the mask because destruction awaits. Just check her resume. A Royal Rumble match winner, Money in the Bank contract holder, NXT, SmackDown, Raw Women's Championships. Oh, and Tag Team Gold, too. The EST is here. This is going to be good. Cole Byron's like the EST of the commentary team. The worst? The dumbest. The ugliest. Hey, that, that, those are dumb examples. Watch what you say. Just signature exuberant energy. Now, Belair is always ready for her next big moment. And always highly motivated to be the best at everything she does.
Introducing the challenger from Osaka, Japan. Her opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee. She is the SmackDown Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. A charged atmosphere as we get set for a SmackDown Women's title match. And what is it that makes the SmackDown Women's title such a hotly contested championship? It's right there in the name. You are holding it down for an entire brand. The chance to be that pace setter, that standard bearer, to plant your flag and lead an entire division. If you don't want that, you're in the wrong business. Hammerlock applied. What's next? Oh my! Sit out, Spinebuster. Ooh! trying to capitalize. The power of a deadlift into a military press. Wow. Walking Incredible. around the ring. And a slam. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Race lock applied. Squeezing all the breath out of their opponent. Uh-oh. Somersault plancha to the floor. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Bianca Belair, such a dominant and athletic superstar, considered the EST of WWE for many reasons, which I imagine has to be somewhat intimidating for her opponents. Right, Corey? Absolutely. But the best thing about Belair is that the EST is also short for the cockiest, which I love. But it dovetails with a relative inexperience as an in-ring competitor, which a more experienced opponent can easily use to their advantage. Everyone has their eyes fixated on the Empress. Come on, what's going on here? Pay attention to your competition. German suplex for the title. Breaks the count at two. She's still as determined as ever. And she dodged that one nicely. It's countered. <laughs> Wrap in the arm. STO! Right on the arm. Axe <laughs> handle from the middle rope. And a kick. <laughs> Left by the turnbuckles. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. Kicked off. Oh, to the leg. Long blower. The champ. Oh, new champ. And it's a kick out at one for the defending champion. Close call, but not enough yet. Bianca is losing any remnants of control now. And Bianca Belair's cockiness is caught up with her already. The EST of WWE needs to figure out a solution fast. Here's a pin for the title. New champ, no! Wow. <laughs> Was ready for that. Reversal after reverse cover by the challenger! She was close to the end there. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Ooh! Asuka's in control. This is what it feels like running into the buzzsaw that is Asuka. Hip attack. Put into the cover with the title on the line. New champion. New champion. No, a two count. She just will not go away. Oh, strikes with a kick. Oh, 
Oh, man. Hart with a chance to fight back from this. This has just been an absolute massacre. Just twisting away. Oh, kick finds it. Oh, solid kick across the back. Yeah, Bianca's survival instincts are taking over. Backfire into a DDT. Boom! Oh, Bianca's being taken full advantage of now. Bianca unable to find breathing room. This disrespectful. Vicious double axe handle. Ooh. Oh, kick connects. I oh, had that well scouted. Bianca managing to get some control back now. Brief sign of adrenaline from her. Made her pay for her mistake. Series of reversals. From Oscar! She's going up! Top rope here! From the top! Elbow drop! The Empress taking charge. The Empress of tomorrow has been relentless in this matchup. Nobody got the shoulder up! I was sure this one was over. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Fortune pairs the pin title on the line. Here we go. A kick out at the last moment for Bianca Belair. That's really as close as it gets. Oh. Bodies must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point must be on the horizon. But yet they continue forward, showing no desire to quit. Oh. Ooh. Bianca is certainly fighting from behind now. Yeah, Belair is struggling to find solution. Instead, what a German suplex. She looks hell-bent on finishing things right now. Asuka. Uh-oh, Asuka's found her positioning. It's cinched in. We could see a tap out. It's locked in. The EST made TAP right here. This is a terrible predicament for Bianca Belair. Oh, look at this. Oh, just breaks the grip, delivers an elbow, and just like that, she's back out of it. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Counter from Asuka. That unique Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. That unraveled on Asuka. Punishing power slam. Down with a face buster. Expected that one. And another counter. The EST hoisting her up. KOD. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Shoulders down. She kicks out. I don't believe it. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship needs. You can see the sweat trip out of the challengers every pour. Belair has to be contemplating her next step now. If that was her plan A, she needs to move to plan B. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Kick out. She still has life. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. She steers clear of that one. Back and forth, back and forth. Both arms are hooked. Backslide in mine. And the champ gets free at one. A uh, Bianca. Uh-oh. That escape aided by a definite low blow. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh. The Oscar lock. Uh-oh. Trouble. In trouble. Tap. 
tap out. She's got a tap out. And the title's changing hands. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Here is your winner, and the new SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka! What a shift into the tides with this championship match. I thought the defending champion had this well in hand, but the new champ had other plans. It just goes to show you anything can happen in WWE. Mello is money. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Mark Magna from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. I hate to parrot a catchphrase, but Mello really is money. Multiple title reigns and main events to his name already. And this guy is destined to continue that success in all of WWE. Mello ready to do something special. Perhaps the richest man in all of WWE, Cameron Grimes. And guess what, Michael? His fortune is going to the moon. And his opponent, from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes! This is a man who owns lots of stock, but also lots of gold. You're right, Corey. He's held the NXT North American title, even held the Million Dollar Championship, too. Cameron Grimes looking to add a few more zeros to his bank account, courtesy of the winner's purse. A lot of people are labeling Carmelo Hayes as the future here in WWE. And Byron, I think they might be right. Carmelo Hayes came into WWE as a pure raw talent. And now that he's put some time in, you can see him getting better literally every week. The future is a long way off, but whatever it is, Carmelo's got it. Perhaps taking it off the top. Diving, Diving arm drag. I like yours better, Cole. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. German, just pure dominance. 
really just laying it in. Tearing down the leg now. Carmelo now trying to capitalize. How does one contend with the devastating power of Cameron Grimes? If Grimes gets on a roll offensively, he can quickly overwhelm you. So you have to find ways to disrupt his rhythm and dictate the flow of this match. The more you control the tempo, the more you can... Sent to the floor. Here he comes. What a dive. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. with that undeniable charisma. Headed to the top rope. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. This is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Shoulders down. Barely kicks out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. What's he got planned? You're a Nagi. Man, oh man. He's taking some good hits. He's got Carmelo here. And there's the Yurinagi. Landed them. Great wherewithal on the counter. Knees meet. Hoping to end it here. This is it. And a kick out at two. That is just pure instinct at this point. A oh, kick. Nasty kick. Well-placed kick. Bam! Oh, he's got him by the leg! The foot DDT! Look at this, just unloading! Grimes' face got the worst of that. Kick! Carmelo Hayes is... Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Saw that one coming. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Uh-oh, from the top, ripped off the ropes in a hurry. He's looking a little weary now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Up high, diving cross body. Throwing all costs into the win. Two, he kicks out at two. He just won't give up. Connects on the kick. He knows how to avoid cutting. Hayes in full control. Into a car. Can Hayes put things away here? For the win! Two! Oh, kicks out, kicks out! An impressive kick out by Cameron Grimes, who's showing a lot of fight thus far. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. Just disrespectful. Carmelo completely dictating the pace here. Smart move here. We're going to disrupt Grimes' rhythm and dictate the flow of this match. Have you ever seen such disdain from this superstar for the other? This is so chaotic. They've taken so it to a, a new level here tonight. Oh. Does he get it here? Three, no. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Ooh. Elusiveness from Grimes. Cameron Grimes. On a collision course. Boy, Grimes just went off like a stick of dynamite. And his opponent took the full force of the blast. Carmelo Hayes with a suplex into a cutter. Feeling like it's over for Grimes. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Carmelo Hayes, nothing but net. Carmelo could have this one. Looking for the victory. Two count.
Here's a few clips from the last match for us. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes. Unquestionably a big win here tonight. After that win, this superstar stock is rising, and they are dancing all the way to the pay window. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is our Tag Team Championship match. And this is the one I've been waiting for all day, Cole. What these teams can do inside that ring never ceases to amaze me. These two are all about beating people up and winning gold. And they have won gold all over the world. You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the OC. Two men with a high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. They already look mean. Now they just need the green. They make short work of their opponents and head right to the pay window. The following contest is a two out of three falls match and is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 448 pounds, Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, the Brotherhood. And their opponents at a combined weight of 505 pounds. They are the WWE Tag Team Champions, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. Here we go, gentlemen. The tag team titles are up for grabs. Final preparations between partners before the action begins. Careers are about to change, ladies and gentlemen. The tag team titles are up for grabs in this match of fortitude. Two out of three falls with Cedric Alexander. 
and Shelton Benjamin. And the other team across the ring will be Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. If you really want to prove yourself as a champion, winning a two out of three falls match is one of the most old school ways to do it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you are damn right, Saxton. You win this match, ain't nobody gonna question you ever again. Alexander answers back. Hurricanrana. There he goes, right into the corner. Answering back. Unpacks a well-placed punch. the elbow. And Corey, what's more important in a two out of three falls match, the physical or the mental component? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Cole, but it's actually both. There's a reason this match is one of the be-all, end-all ways of addressing a rivalry. It's designed to test every aspect of your skill set. And if that sounds tough, it's because it is. And he gets the tag. felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Tag made. Up on their shoulders, electric chair, cross, body drop. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. That was a long two count there. Ooh, stinging kick. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Luke keeps it away. Counter after counter. Into the corner. This can't be good. Double hip toss. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Two through after two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, ouch. Oh. Can't quite get him there. Shelton gets intercepted. I was talking to a few folks in the locker room earlier today, and they definitely noticed the recent tension between these superstars. They're not quite sure where it came from, but they're all in agreement that it's escalated quickly. Sometimes you just don't vibe with people, Cole. Of course, usually when that happens, you don't have to face off against each other in a squared circle. So this is a little different than most other rivalries. He switches it back around. Here's a cover. Oh, well, that was too close for Shelton Benjamin. Man, you want to talk about thin margins. Look at this strength. Incredible power slam. Check out the springboard. Springboard clothesline by Alexander. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. Top block, debilitating counter. Luke retaliates. A stalemate of counters. He went right into that turnbuckle. No escape from these punches. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all mass, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum, every push has been cut off. Suplex. Here he goes for the win. No, I thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. He just kicked out by a fraction of a second. Look out. Exploder suplex. Big forearm. Oh, did you hear that? Great counter. Side headlock applied. Oh, good measure. We've got to acknowledge these fans, a packed arena, and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud and it is mad in here. 
And he finds an answer for Gallows. Telegraphed that one and delivers a blow to the gut. Tagging his partner in now. Uh-oh. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Boom! That kick will stop you in your tracks. Saw it coming and got out of there. Cedric Alexander! Lumbar check! We could have a new champion! He starts it off with an early fall. Oh, Carl answers back. Carl Anderson. Boom! Rocket kick. This is it. The champion gets a fall. Shelton hits pay dirt. The champ's eyes look glazed over. We have new tag team champions. Tag teams always entertain, but the entertainment on that one was off the charts. Here are your winners, Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander, the Brotherhood. An emphatic victory for your winners, an impressive effort from this duo. And if I'm in the tag division, I'm hoping with all my heart, I don't come across these two in the future. Here comes the street champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. Solo Sikoa. Had a meteoric rise in NXT, multiple main event matches, and the NXT North American title. And has already made an impact on the main roster, becoming a part of the bloodline.
And guys, unsurprisingly so, social media right now is buzzing. Well, because he represents millions and millions, literally. More than 415 million followers on social media. They smell it all right. Indeed, the great one. A third generation superstar who honors his family starting all the way at the top with the high chief, Peter Maivia. Without a doubt, furthering his family's legacy in sports entertainment and cementing his own spot on the WWE Mount Rushmore. His greatness transcends eras in WWE history. Powered up in the iron paradise, Team Bring It is a lifestyle. And we kick things off with the most electrifying man in all of entertainment, The Rock. Not just electrifying, but story. This man comes from wrestling royalty. A third generation member of the Anawaii dynasty, The Rock is as tough and hard hitting as anyone on the family tree. Plus you add in the sheer charisma of a Hollywood star. The man is an icon, no two ways about it. A star he is indeed, looking to add another hit to his resume here tonight. And then there's Solo Sokoa, a superstar who is a part of a legendary family legacy in this industry. He's a born fighter who spent his early years battling on the streets. That's why he's known as the street champ. Those experiences gifted Solo with incredible toughness and a no-quit attitude. Once he sets his sights on a target, the street champ never backs down. Set right out of the ring. Up and down, what a gourd buster. Oh, what a knee. Counters. Oh, kick lands. Unloads a shot to the gut. Oh, what a clothesline. Solo Sokoa, of course, considers himself the street champ of sports entertainment. Corey, how do you think that self-proclaimed title is going to factor into this one tonight? Cole, being the street champ factors into everything Solo does, both in and out of the ring. That means the power, the dominance, the explosivity. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Big back. He can do it here. And the rock kicks out. He's still in this. Able to sidestep it. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. The Rock with a great dodge. Rock plants him with a spine buster. And shot that with The millions are about to experience it. Full head of steam. There it is! The people's elbow! Rock got it. I think it's over. There's two! He is just barely still in the fight. I don't know how many more times he's going to be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. The Rock reformulating his game plan. It was not enough to end this, so he'll have to move on to plan B. Oh, countering with a chop block will halter any attack. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. What a barrage of stops. To stomp in every single part of his body. Ooh! Solo must be getting phased by this attack. Solo needs to start reacting quicker. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He must have seen that coming. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Placed in the corner. Caught him right the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Leaving himself open here. The Rock reminding us all once again that we are watching the most electrifying man in sports entertainment at work. The Rock saw that one coming. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Quick take down there. The Rock may be in a bad way here. Uh, 
escaped just in time. Mindbuster! Down hard. Oh! He reverses it. What reflexes to stop? There it is! Oh. Feeling like it's over for Sokoa. Two! Wow, just barely making it out. No telling how much surviving that will cost, though. I don't know how someone kicks out of that. I don't know how you can still be standing. Guys, even The Rock can't believe it. He thought that was that. Now the Brahma Bull is left searching for answers. Sokoa oh. keeping his opponent at bay. from the Brahma Bull. The Rock's opponent needs to know his role. Close line! Off with their head. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Uncorked the close line to deny that maneuver. It's been an elacious encounter thus far. The tides have swung in multiple directions. It's anyone's guess how this one's gonna end. The Great One is ready to finish this off. Here it comes! Rock bottom! The Rock got all of it! Solo must be getting phased by this attack. Solo needs to start reacting quicker, and he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Punch across the cheek. Block the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. The spinning solo by Sokoa. Is it enough? The cover! A kick out at two. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? Far over to the kidneys! Ugh. Oh my god! He is just reeling from that offense. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Ooh! Oh, no. Oh, not to the belly! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. High level of offense on display from Solo. And that's the street champ's power game proving his fruit. Winding up. Solo and Spike. The great one is down. Right the rock is down. Oh, and he just kicked out. Okay, this crowd just got the hairs on their arms raised as the most electrifying man in all of entertainment is... Uh-oh. Counter by the rock. Uh-oh. About to hit the rock bottom. I don't care who you are. You can't survive any more of those. Man, that was a... Awesome match, an incredible victory. Great effort by both of these men. And an offer of sportsmanship. Oh, Aww. yeah, clearly frustrated. That's not the scene you want to see after such a highly competitive match. There's no surprise, emotions are so high.
The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. The champ planning to show his dominance in this division with an emphatic win tonight. Here comes the Scottish Supernova. An accomplished superstar who has made his name in NXT and WWE. And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds, Noam Dar. Noam Dar the first ever Israeli-born WWE superstar. The Scottish Supernova has done Scotland and Israel proud. The only man to hold the NXT UK Heritage Cup Championship more than once. That's a testament to the pure wrestling skills of the Scottish Supernova. Highly skilled. He's the first Israeli-born superstar to compete in WWE. He's got a, bit, a little bit of his own swag going, too. He's smug. He's not smug, Cole. He's confident. Throughout his illustrious career, one word is best described AJ Styles. Phenomenal. A single word that tells you everything you need to know about this man. Against all odds, even against the most nefarious forces, AJ Styles has consistently risen to the top. It's that sort of determination that has earned AJ accolades the world over. We'll see if AJ lives up to that phenomenal moniker here tonight. And then there is Noam Dar, who has accomplished so much at such a young age. Dar is burning bright like a Scottish supernova, and the opposition is about to get scorched. Well, good. See what I did there, Saxton? He turns it around. Drop kick. Hits the mark. He knew that was coming. And Noam is countered. Hooked up. And DDT. Double axe handle. This match grinded him down a little. And as expected, phenomenal offense from AJ Styles. Preparation, skill, instinct. Just a few of the key attributes that AJ Styles boasts coming into this match. You got to think it'll be a long night trying to match any of that. Long indeed, Cole, but persistence is key. If you hang tough, you can fluster Styles and potentially find an opening. No way. Slingshot set time. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. And he tosses him back in now. Looking for a high risk move. Boom! <laughs> This crowd is truly unworthy of his incredible... Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. Ducks under. Finally kicked by AJ Styles. Up the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? Nah, look at this. Jarring impact. And now he's giving you all another ch Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. He's struggling a bit here. If you can dream of a wrestling maneuver, AJ can likely do it better than your imagination. Getting him into the corner. Knife edge chop! Did you hear that impact? Reversal from Noam Dar. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Got him up! Ooh, 
Ishiguroshi. Absolutely phenomenal execution from AJ Styles there. The way this rivalry is heating up, guys, hopefully cooler heads will ultimately prevail. Yeah. The AJ finds the mark. Nor went down in a heap. Cover. And this one is over. Oh, the champion showing off the championship to the WWE fans, and look who's here. This superstar taking interest in the champ, and the champ is saying, you want some? Come on down.